friends and welcome back and welcome back to another Walgreens video. I am here to go over some of the best money making deals for this week at Walgreens in my opinion of course. Now one thing I want you guys to keep in mind that when it comes to drugstore couponing whether CVS, Rite Aid if you still in fact have an actual Rite Aid or Walgreens the beauty of these stores is that they give us store rewards which is store money that we can use to purchase whatever it is that we may be in need of outside of whatever may be restricted, which is usually tobacco, lottery, and sometimes dairy products, depending on what state you're in, etc. So when it comes to a money-making deal, for me, I'm a cash-based couponer. The only thing that matters to me is the cash out of my pocket, not what I spent in store money. I will roll store money all day long, regardless of how much I'm rolling to pay for my items, versus how much I'm getting back, okay? Anytime I'm, for me, cash-based couponing. That means I'm focused on spending the least amount of cash out of my pocket with each and every transaction I do. I don't care how much I use in-store money. I will say this, however, when it comes to CVS, it's a tad bit different on how I treat my CVS money versus Walgreens. And I'll get into that in a separate video, but only because with Walgreens, deals are straight up unlimited so you can earn as much as you're willing to you know as many deals as you're willing to do you can earn store money with cvs because deals are limited per cord per week you're kind of restricted well not kind of you are restricted so i kind of look at things a little bit different with cvs and again i'll do a separate video on that nonetheless when it comes to walgreens because deals are not tracked you can do deals on repeat you can earn the rewards, whether it's points and or register rewards or your um, beauty points on repeat at Walgreens. Cash-based couponer, it does not matter how much I'm using in-store money. Anytime I am doing a deal that gives me something back, I'm going to structure my transactions to where I'm paying the least amount of cash out of pocket and I'm going to get store money back, okay? So that's what I base my numbers on, the actual cash out of pocket. So 90, 99% of the deals I do at Walgreens are always going to be money-making deals because I'm paying the least amount of cash out of pocket. Pennies on a dollar, a dollar here and there, and so on. Okay, so let's get into this. All right, so right on the first page, we have the Soft Soap and Irish Spring. There are $4.99 when you buy two, you get 5,000 points. If you pick up two, that would be $9.98. We have 75 cent off one insert coupons from this past um, weekend smart source. You would take off $1.50 there, making your subtotal $8.48. Now, depending on how you are taxed, whether before or after coupons, you may want to go ahead and build up your transaction here. I am taxed after coupons, so my true subtotal would be $8.48. I would go ahead and build up that transaction in order to get to $10 so that I can roll in 10,000 points, paying the least amount of cash out of pocket. So a good filler item to add in here would be the tuna. They're priced at 79 cent each, or you can do the palm olive dish liquid. They are $1.99 and we have a 50 cent off digital coupon or a 50 cent off insert coupon. And you can even do the Dawn dish liquid or the Ajax liquid um, laundry detergent. So all of those would be great options as fillers to bring your total up to $10 in order to roll in the 10,000 points. And then you would get back the 5,000 in points for doing the deal. Now, also on the front page, we have Select Crest and RB products priced at $2.99. On promotion for when you buy four, you get a $3 register reward back. Now, we do have two separate digital coupons. One is $6 off of three, I believe, or six off of four. And the other is $5 off of two for Select Crest products. Make sure you're always checking your digital coupons and then scan the items in store to see what is actually attaching to which coupon. Now for that five off two, when I scanned it or when I looked at it online and then I scanned a few products in my stockpile, it's actually attaching to products that are on promotion for when you buy two, you get 4,000 points back. 
Now, I don't see that promotion advertised in this week's sales ad. However, it may actually be a month-long promotion. So definitely double check if you get in store and look at your sale tags. Now, it is showing online. So I'm going to say that it is, in fact, valid. And it is on select products. So again, make sure you're double checking in store those sales tags. Scan your products. You can click on it once you scan it in the app to see what the promotion is for that particular product. So $2.99 for the Crescent RB. You buy four, you get a $3 register reward. Or select Crest products on sale for $2.99 as well. You buy two and you get 4,000 points. Both are great options. And again, you can build up your transaction in order to roll in the most amount in points. Now, what I would probably do is pick up four of the Crest products priced at $2.99 making it $11.96. You would use a six off four digital coupon that would bring you down to $5.96. You can roll in 5,000 points and you would pay 96 cent cash out of pocket plus your tax. Or you can build that transaction up to 10, roll in 10,000 points, pay the difference cash out of pocket, which would be your tax. You would get back your $3 register reward and then get back if you put in another deal giving you something back with the crest, you would get that back as well. Otherwise, you're just getting a $3 register reward back, plus getting your other products for pennies on a dollar. So what I would probably do is pair this with the Speed Stick deal. This week, the Speed Stick is on sale for buy one, get one 50% off. When you buy two, you get 3,000 points back. We have a digital coupon for 50 cent off the men's and 50 cent off the women's. So that would be $3.49 for the men's and $1.59 for the women. Adding that to your Crest deal, taking off your coupons, you would be at a subtotal of $10.04. You would roll in 10,000 points and you would pay $0.04 cent cash out of pocket plus your tax. And you will get back a $3 register reward for the Crest and 3,000 in points for the Speed Stick. That is probably what I would do to build that transaction up. Now, we also have insert coupons in this week's um, Smart Source as well. 50 cent on the men and then 50 cent on the ladies. Now, another good deal this week that I'm definitely going to be doing is the Colgate. So, we have select Colgate toothpaste as well as toothbrushes. And I believe mouthwash may also be included. But they're on sale for $3.99. On promotion for when you buy two, you get 5,000 points. And of course, it's a buy deal, so you can use points to pay. Uh, yes, yeah, select Colgate toothpaste and toothbrushes are on this sale and promotion. So I would pick up one of the toothpaste, one of the toothbrushes. We have digital coupons for each, as well as their insert coupons from this weekend's insert. So picking up two, we'll be at $7.98. Minus our coupons, we'll be at $5.98. And again, just like with the Crest, you can roll 5,000 in points, pay 98 cent cash out of pocket, or you can build that transaction up to $10 and then roll in 10,000 in points, paying the least amount of cash out of pocket. And again, I would probably go ahead and just use the speed stick to add in here, and your total would be pretty much the same as it was for the Crest. So this is the key right here with building these transactions up. You want to stack deals together that is giving you something back. And or again, you want to bury other items into your deals and your transactions that's giving you something back. That way you're always paying the least amount of cash out of pocket, but you're still keeping your store money going. You're building up points, building up register rewards, etc. All right, so another good deal this week is on the Revlon and Almay Cosmetics. They're on the same promotion. Buy two, you get a $5 register reward back. You must buy two to get the register reward back. It's a buy deal, so you can use points to pay and you will get the register reward back. You can also use a register reward to pay and you will get the register reward back. Just make sure that the register reward that you are using is from a different deal. It can be from last week's Revlon deal. You can use it to pay for this week's deal and you will get back a new register reward. This is because it's a new sales week, so it pretty much resets itself. If it's a register reward from a from the Crest deal this week, you can use that register reward to pay for the Revlon deal this week and get the register reward back. 
I hope that makes sense. If it is um, a register reward that you earned last week from Colgate, you can use that register reward to pay for the Revlon deal and or LMA this week and you will get the register reward back, okay? Now, one thing to note, whenever those deals are like that with the um, the makeup deals, Revlon and LMA are made by the same company. It is on the same brand line, okay? But sometimes we can't mix and match. We really don't know until you get in store and you try it. So I never ever mix and match when it comes to those deals. If it says buy two, I buy two Revlon to get that reward back. If it says buy two Alme, I buy two Alme to get that reward back. What you do not want to do is buy two of the Revlon, get that $5 reward, and then buy two Alme and use that Revlon reward on that. You can't do that because it's the same promotion and register rewards are not meant to roll in the same sales week. I hope that makes sense. So I don't know if we can mix and match. It doesn't say in the ad. It may say on the sales tags. Um, so make sure you're reading that to double check. But it doesn't say in the ad. But typically, for whatever reason, they don't always let you mix and match. Meaning, pick up one Revlon product and then pick up one of the Almay products and still get back the $5 reward. I don't know why Walgreens does that, but it's a thing. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys just wanted to give you some quick deals that i would personally make sure i'm doing and again do them on repeat because deals are not tracked at walgreens so as long as you have the store money to cover the bulk of your purchase and you're paying pennies out of pocket go ahead and do those deals rack up on your store money use that store money to purchase the things that you may actually be in need of we have some really good deals on food deals this week definitely make sure you're going through that ad making a good list for yourself to pick up what it is that you may need or just want to add in to your stockpile now i myself will not be getting out till later on during the week hopefully by friday if not it will have to be saturday to get any um couponing done at all so if you have gotten out and did any shopping already do share your deals in the comments share anything that you came across in store that may not be in the ad that way I know what's going on because I won't be getting in store until Saturday. With that being said, thanks so very much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, guys, happy couponing and stay safe.